Hi, it's Kathleen Lugerich, Manager of Programs and Ticketing for the Army Historical Foundation and your host for Army Artifacts. Today I'm on the road in Williamsport, Pennsylvania, and it's about an hour and a half north of Harrisburg. It's known for a few things. It's surrounded by state-owned game land, so it's a huge draw for outdoor enthusiasts, and it's also the home of the Little League World Series. But as you know, Army history is everywhere, so it shouldn't shock you that I found a few Army history stories to share with you while I was here in Williamsport. So come join me as we explore some of the Army history stories this town, affectionately called Billtown, has to share. Surrounding the town are multiple historic markers for 18th century forts. One of these markers, which is located near the Lycoming Mall in Muncie Township, recognizes Fort Muncie. It was built to fortify frontier homes during the American Revolution. Actually, it was built three times because it was destroyed in 1778 and 1779 by the British and their allies, but it was built with final and third time for its value as a base to support scouting parties until the end of the war. The Pennsylvania Historical and Museum Commission has a great tool to search all of their historical markers, and if you just type in the word fort, you can find hundreds of references to individuals, towns, and actual forts. In fact, we might just have to make a special episode that just focuses on forts alone. But I do want to recommend that if you decide to go track down any of these historical markers or signs, please be safe, as many of these markers are right along active roads and highways and do not have parking. I entered town from the west side after locating another fort marker and came upon a Veterans Memorial Park. There are two vehicles and eight monuments that recognize all veterans from all military branches, and there's plenty of parking if you are driving by and want to stop. Next stop on my Army history tour was Muncie Bank Ballpark at Historic Bowman Field, which is home to the Williamsport Crosscutters in the Major League Baseball Draft League. It's one of baseball's oldest and most distinguished ballparks. The first professional game was on April 27, 1926, between the Williamsport Grays and the Harrisburg Giants. During that game, the first home run was hit by Buffalo Soldier veteran and baseball legend Oscar Charleston. Charleston enlisted in March of 1912, was assigned to the 24th Infantry, and deployed to the Philippines. During his three years of service, Charleston played baseball on the regiment's team in the Manila League, along with other future Hall of Famers, including Charles Wilbur Rogan. Following his service, he started his professional baseball career with the Indianapolis ABCs. He was a player, a player manager, and a scout, and even played a role in the selection of Jackie Robinson. There are also several cemeteries within Williamsport limits, including Wildwood Cemetery, which is known to be the burial location for the wife of the last surviving African-American Civil War soldier, James Henry Willis. Another cemetery is Freedom Road Cemetery, which is dedicated to the resting place of nine African-American Civil War soldiers. Daniel Hughes was a lumber raftsman on the Susquehanna River and brought fugitive slaves from Maryland and took care of them on his property as they continued north on the Underground Railroad. He donated his land for this cemetery. And our final stop of this Army Story Tour of Williamsport is the Tabor Museum of the Lycoming County Historical Society located on Millionaire's Row where I met curator Scott Sager, who spoke with me about a few soldiers from Williamsport who were at the attack on Pearl Harbor. I'm Scott Sager. I'm the curator of collections here at the Thomas Tabor Museum of the Lycoming County Historical Society. Um, my job is to take care of the artifacts that we have here, and this is our military gallery. Our museum tells the history of Lycoming County. Uh, we cover everything from the Native Americans up through the 20th century, and our military gallery covers Lycoming County's participation in all conflicts from the Revolutionary War up through the 21st century. Uh, this section of the exhibit uh, talks about some local residents who were at Pearl Harbor when the Japanese attacked on December 7, 1941. Uh, these two gentlemen here, this is Paul B. Free and Billy O. Brandt, um, both Army soldiers, and they actually died in the attack. They were killed um, when the Japanese uh, first attacked the base, and then this is Joe Locker. This is a photo of him after the war. 
uh, but he was a radar operator um, stationed at Pearl Harbor, and he actually detected the Japanese fleet coming in and warned his superiors. Uh, they told him it was actually, um, they were American planes, which of course they turned out not to be. Um, so even though his warning was disregarded, he did uh, receive uh, a medal afterwards uh, when it turned out that his warning might have saved a lot of lives that day. Uh, we have down here, this is a letter um, to Billy Brandt's family notifying them of his um, being killed in the line of duty. Uh, we also have a um, certificate for his Purple Heart Award. And down in the case are the actual Purple Hearts for both Billy Brandt and Paul Free. Uh, we have a photo album showing Paul Free's funeral and a Christmas card that Paul Free sent to his family. It's postmarked November 27th, 1941. So just a little over a week before he was killed. And also Billy Brandt's dog tags uh, are in the case as well. Anyway, these are just a few of the Army stories that I had time to share. I'd like to thank the Lycoming County Visitors Bureau, Scott Sager and the Tabor Museum, and the staff at Wildwood Cemetery. I hope this inspires you to visit not just Williamsport, but your own towns and communities. Maybe there are some Army history stories and places there you never knew about, and if you find any, please share the information with us at the Army Historical Foundation and add to our registry of soldiers so that we can continue to show that Army history is everywhere. Thank you again for watching another episode of Army Artifacts.